So the fossils are all found on bedding plane surfaces, many of which show these bumpy structures that are called adhesion ripples or wrinkle surfaces that are caused by wind blowing over wet sediment. These weren't dry land, they were wet sediment. There may have been a couple of millimeters, a few millimeters of water, but very, very shallow. And the animals probably pulled themselves out onto this very shallow surface, almost land, so that they could get away from their main predators while they were molting. It looks as if all the specimens that we have are in fact molts, the empty exoskeletons of animals that shed their exoskeleton as they grew. And when a scorpion sheds its exoskeleton, it spreads its legs apart and pops up the carapace, the front head, if, if you will, and pulls its whole self out at the front of its head. Its legs and the whole body come out intact and leave the empty exoskeleton behind that just looks like a complete scorpion, except it's empty. Uh, they, to do this, they spread their legs apart, sort of anchor themselves to the ground, and all our specimens have this characteristic pose that a scorpion does when it's about to molt. So we have molts here. Why did they do that? To get away from predators. There were some really nasty things in the sea where they were living. They could do it because they had the leg structure that allowed them to pull themselves out onto land. When they'd finished molting and their new exoskeleton hardened, they could scuttle back into deeper water again.